Welcome everyone, in today's video I'm going to talk to you about how you can get ahead of the crypto airdrop game. So historically we have seen users be rewarded for using a project early. So for example, um, Uniswap did an airdrop for anyone who interacted with a Uniswap smart contract prior to like September 1st, 2020. Also quite recently DYDX did an airdrop and some people got airdrops up to $50,000 worth of DYDX tokens. So it is definitely worth your time being an early user to some of these projects. DeFi Llama has a tab on their website called Airdrops. Now, this basically covers just a ton of projects that are live on mainnet and also don't have a token. So for example here we have TerraSwap. It's been live on mainnet for a while. It has quite a high TVL. And Probably in the future, they will have an airdrop for people who use TerraSwap. So if you do any trades or if you're an LP there as well. It's kind of like the Uniswap of the Terra ecosystem. And if we go down here, you can see that there are quite a few uh, projects that are, are live on mainnet and currently don't have a token. So it's probably worth your time just to go ahead and use them. Um, and you can check what chain they're on and you can go on the particular project and see what they do um, if it's like an ethereum layer one project so like set protocol for example save layer finance or, or open um, expect that if you use these protocols it's going to cost a little bit of money but also expect that the ethereum airdrops will most likely be worth more than say like a solana airdrop or a polygon airdrop just because there are more users on Ethereum and uh, there's more money on Ethereum as well. Um, and historically, that's just always been the case. Um, I've also got another idea for you to maximize your airdrops, and that is go to Twitter, type in airdrop and just scroll along and see what's there. You're going to have a lot of people um, just liking and retweeting things. Say, for example, here's Solana Pirate. Say, for example, here's the Solana Piranhas. Um, you can get NFT for free if you follow this page, like and retweet, and tag free friends. See, that's nice and easy to do, barely any effort. Um, you're going to come across a lot of these. Um, a lot will be scams as well. Never give away your email address to any of these um, projects that are claiming to do airdrops. I remember there was an airdrop mania on Solana. I remember there was an airdrop mania on Solana earlier this year, and there are a few pages that were asking for emails. And then what happened, the people who submitted their emails, like they had their Twitter accounts locked because people were trying to get into them and like hack their accounts. So never do that. But yeah, you go onto Twitter, type in airdrop, just scroll along, just anything you can. Um, and just like, retweet, follow. It's it's so easy and it's, it is definitely worth your time. I mean, a lot of these airdrops won't be worth a lot. And there's, you know, sometimes a, a you know, a very small chance of you getting it. But um if you don't have a large portfolio or uh, but if you don't have a large portfolio it's probably just definitely worth your time and another thing that you can do is go to an ecosystem that you like go to the ecosystem page and just scroll along and see what projects there are there so for example i like solana i like interacting with the ecosystem because it's cheap and fast and i currently um think that there is a lot of room for the solana ecosystem to grow so if I go onto the Solana page, I wanted to DeFi and I want to look for projects that are currently live on mainnet and don't have a token. So I've spotted Frankium here. If I go onto their page, um, it doesn't say testnet or devnet anywhere. Um, you can confirm this just by going on their medium just to see if they are really live on mainnet, but I know they are. And then we also just want to check if they have a token. So if I go into CoinGecko, Type, type in Francium and nothing comes up. So this is a perfect candidate to use. Additionally, there's other websites like airdrops.io and it will show you the latest airdrops going on. Um, under here, it has holder airdrops. And um, these are airdrops that are given to people who stake these tokens. So it says for Woo holders, but I'm fairly certain you have to stake Woo. For example, we have this uh, airdrop here. I don't know how to pronounce that, I'm not gonna try, but if you stake synthetics, you will get edge of this. We also have Boba Network, where if you stake your OMI's Go tokens, you'll receive that in return. Nexus Protocol is exclusively for uh, Anchor governance stakers. So 
whilst you see this on here, it, it's worthwhile just digging a little bit deeper into how to get those airdrops. Um, and also just make sure um, it's worth your while interacting with a lot of these protocols as well. Like I said before, um, a lot of these airdrops are for Ethereum layer one. If you have like a less than a thousand dollars and you're trying to collect these airdrops, it's probably not worth it due to the gas fees, which can be quite prohibitive. Um, so I recommend going to other ecosystems like Terra, Avalanche, Polygon, Solana. Cardano is probably going to be a hot one soon. Um, so go onto those ecosystems, try out everything you can. Um, not only will you get the transfer and airdrop, you'll also just learn more about DeFi in general, and you can, you know, spot scams that are going on. You can form more complex strategies and so on and so forth. So it's really, it is just worth your time. And and lastly, I just wanted to point out that if you stake your Luna, um, there are a ton of airdrops that are potentially coming your way. So if you go on lunarairdrops.com, you can see what tokens that you might get in the future. And with the Terra ecosystem being quite new, I expect a lot of these airdrops being worth quite a lot in the future as well. Um, so, so that's one example of just staking your tokens and getting airdrops. Um, make sure to just keep an open mind and keep your eyes peeled on Twitter for airdrops as well. And the last thing I wanted to cover is NFTs. So holding certain NFTs will entitle you to airdrops. For example, Skeleton Crew. Um, they're on Solana, they recently did a mint, but by minting uh, one of their NFTs and holding it, you would get an airdrop every day in October. So there are certain NFTs that uh, allow for that as well. So just make sure to keep your eyes peeled. Um, make sure to be very active on Twitter. You'll typically hear about these airdrops on Twitter first. Um, also, if you want to go even deeper, go into a lot of these projects, telegrams and discords and ask whether or not they're doing an airdrop or search whether or not um people have asked before but thank you for watching i hope this little guide helped and make sure to subscribe for more videos like this one